last president, Joe, you two are the newest members of, of this cast and of this team. What's it like uh, jumping into something that's already far and away running? Uh, well, for, for me, um, <clears throat> it sort of goes back to the question you asked previously about the humor on the set. I, I had done a couple of movies back to back, and I was just kind of tired of living in hotel rooms and not seeing my friends and not seeing my family, and I've always done TV, and I called my agent and I said, I just want a TV show, I just want to do a TV show, whatever that is. I want to come home, I don't want to be out here anymore and lonely and tired. And they called the next day and they said, Cornel Mines wants to meet with you. And I watched the show, because I love the serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, OK, all right, great. And, and I thought, OK, I know what that, I know what that show is going to be. 14-hour days, endless work. They better be nice. So when I met, with, <laughs> I met with I met with Chris Mundy and Simon and Ed and everybody. We sat in a room and I said uh, it was before Joe was there, and I said, uh, "Is it fun? Are, are people nice and is it fun?" And they said, "You will never have so much fun. We have the best crew and the best cast in the world, and you will love it." That was Simon who said that. You never had so, so much Paul, fun. Paul, yeah, exactly. you love it. You love it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell a story about Paget because I have to tell this story. Paget, can I tell this story? About Paget? Okay. Oh yeah. We're, we're in Vancouver. We're in Vancouver doing the pilot episode of Criminal Minds, Quantico, as it was called then. And Paget was doing a. Quantico. I was there doing something. Paget was doing something else. A movie, TV something. Movie. I don't know. I met in the bar. With, um, we met in the bar briefly. We didn't really know her. And on my last day, I'm standing at the concierge desk, and Paget is standing in front of me and talking to the concierge in hushed tone. And I was like, well, what's going on here? Something's going on here. And she turns and I said, what's going on? She said, there's, bad, there's a fire on the 16th floor. And I said, what? And my bags were on the 18th floor and my plane was leaving in like an hour and a half. And she said, there's a fire on the 16th floor. And I said, why didn't you pull the fire on And she said, I didn't want to scare anybody. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't want there to be like a stampede, so I figured I'd tell the concierge. <laughs> Made sense at the time. She, she was destined for the show. Uh, and she, in that meeting, was was like, whoa. I mean, she knew way more than we knew. It was really, it was really. I a read it all. I, yeah, I dated, you know, security. You thought like, you messed it up. I right? Right? <laughs> you thought you messed it up. Right? You want to keep the meeting? Yeah. I actually, after I left the meeting, <laughs> did one of the dumbest things. Oh. I walked out of the meeting, and I, for a split second, I stood in the hallway, and I thought, I bet I could just get a big plastic cup and listen in. <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought, no, no, no. So I went down to my car. My car was parked out front of the building, and there were all these glass windows up where they were talking. And I did, there's some Judy Garland movie. Someone here will know it. Bing Crosby, Judy Garland. He's trying to make her a star. And he says, you're not a star until people look at you. People turn and look at you walking down the street. So she starts walking down the street making faces. <laughs> so I walked Easter to my car. Easter Easter parade Easter parade. Parade. Fred Astaire. Fred Astaire? Easter, yes. Easter Parade. Thank you so much. <laughs> I don't remember what it is, but that stuck. So I'm walking to my car after the meeting with them. But she remembers the toy And I'm like <laughs> making faces at everyone walking down the street and kind of throwing my hair around thinking, oh, they're going to be up there looking at me like, oh, I guess she's hot. People are <laughs> Joe, Joe, when you joined, how was that? <laughs>